Jay Kamle and I welcome all the students who have taken admission to the first year degree in Bhavans College and I welcome you to this first official program hosted by Bhavans Degree College. I welcome all the students who have taken admission to the first year degree in Bhavans College and I welcome all the students who have taken admission to the first year degree in Bhavans College. The students who were in junior college in Bhavans College, those who have done their 11th and 12th standard, for them the campus is not really a new one. For them it is simply a homecoming. I welcome them back home. But the ones who have joined Bhavans College as a new student who were there earlier in some other colleges and now they have joined Bhavans College. I take pride and I am very happy to tell them that now you are a part of one of the best, one of the leading and one of the oldest institutions of education not only in Mumbai but also in India. This college which was established by a visionary, Dr. Kanahiyalal Munshi ji, who was not only a parliamentarian, a very noted parliamentarian indeed, but he was also an educationist, he was a writer, he was a poet, a philosopher, an environmentalist, and he was also a part of uh, the group of very talented people who actually drafted the constitution of India. Now students, this program of orientation otherwise had it been any normal year this occasion would have been a very happy occasion of course it's a happy occasion now as well but then otherwise it's a very lively interaction where we have face to face interaction where the teachers see the students the students see their teacher they roam around in the campus they see everything they they get to know the college uh, of which they are going to be a part in for the coming 3 years so it's a very enthusiastic environment on that day. Unfortunately, this year is different. It's an extraordinary condition. COVID-19 is a, uh, I should say, once in a lifetime uh, event and which has forced us to stay indoors. And as a result, we have to do this program on an online platform instead of a live interaction. Nevertheless, we are determined we know that we can still sail through all these difficulties. We know that we will learn to live with this. We will adapt to the situation and not only adapt, we will come out of the situation and once the pandemic is over, I feel we all will be back to the campus, not only for learning but also for the enjoyment for the lush green campus uh, where the learning really becomes a pleasure. And you all must have heard, you all must be knowing, Bhavans is known for having one of the best campuses uh, in Mumbai. You are going to spend three to four years, depending on the course that you have taken, three years or four years till your graduation. And let me assure you that by the time you graduate from the campus, you will be completely transformed. And that is what it is supposed to be like. That is from an underconfident teenager, which probably, I don't mean to say that you are an underconfident teenager, but if you might be an underconfident teenager now, but there is a prob probability, there is a possibility that once you graduate from the college, you are an altogether changed individual and that is what the education is supposed to do to you. 
I really wish to. I, I remember and I really wish to narrate a very small story, but with a very deep meaning. Uh, I would not take very long time. A person was walking along a road where he saw a big, huge elephant, which was tied to a tree with a very small, a very feeble rope. एक बड़े से हाथी को एक छोटी सी रस्सी से बांधा गया था जो रस्सी कुछ खास मजबूत नहीं थी इट वॉज नॉट अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग रोप इट वॉज नॉट एन आयन चेन इट वॉज अ वेरी वीक रोप बट इन स्पाइट ऑफ दैट एलिफेंट वॉज नॉट ट्राइंग टू सेट इट सेल्फ फ्री ही कुड हैव इजीली ब्रोकन दैट रोप थोड़ा सा हल्का सा अगर वो कोशिश करता तो वो रस्सी आराम से टूट जाती थी एंड द एलिफेंट वुड हैव ब्रोकन फ्री But surprisingly, that animal was not making any attempt to free itself. It was standing still, accepting the fact fact that it has been tried by that rope. This gentleman who saw this was very surprised why this beast is not uh, trying to free itself. So he asked the trainer, जो महावत होता है, उसको उन्होंने पूछा है कि ऐसे ये क्यों हाथी अपने आप को छुड़ाने की कोशिश क्यों नहीं कर रहा है? तो वो महावत ने कहा कि इस हाथी को हम इसी रस्सी से तब से बांधते आए हैं जब से वो एक छोटा बच्चा था दे हैव टाइंग दिस एलिफेंट विद द सेम रोप व्हेन इट वाज अ बेबी एलिफेंट प्रोबेबली एट दैट टाइम बिकॉज द बेबी एलिफेंट वाज वेरी स्मॉल इट कुड नॉट फ्री इट फ्रॉम द रोप इट मे हैव ट्राइड आल्सो बट ही कुड नॉट हैव सक्सीडेड सो प्रोबेबली ही अबैंड ऑल दो अटेम्प एंड ही एक्सेप्टेड द फैक्ट दैट दिस रोप इज नॉट ब्रेकेबल एंड आई कैनॉट ब्रेक दिस रोप this deep impression in the mind of the elephant continued for all the years of growing now it has become as i said a huge beast a very powerful creature it can not only break the rope but the uproot the tree also but because of the impression that it has in its mind that the rope cannot be broken it has succumbed to the circumstances and without realizing the potential he is accepting the situation as it is dear students your education particularly your degree college education when you are become we are on, you are on the verge of becoming an adult the education is supposed to do exactly the same thing to you to free you from all the mental barriers that you might be having in your mind not knowing what you are capable of not knowing your potentials so your degree education is expected to tell you to show you what you are capable of not only to show what you are capable of but to make you actually capable of accomplishing all that uh, potential which you have it in with you being in the college it is very essential for you to know the institute because you are going to spend quite a time here so you need to know the college thoroughly you need to get accustomed to the Uh, functioning of the college the office the library what all things which you are expected to do the discipline the rules the do's and the don'ts not only study but then our college also offers you a host of extracurricular activities co curricular activities incidentally uh, i look after two very contradictory committees i am in charge of attendance also which will be a very very strictly functioning committee at the same time i'll be taking you uh, into the cultural activities also for which i am the in charge and we all will have a great time if you have heard about kala mahotsav which is supposed to be a very very lively event so you have so many other things in the campus apart from the, your studies which will shape you as an individual you'll come out as a multifaceted individual when you graduate from this college to give you all this insight about the the institute there can be no better person than the head of the institute itself that is the principal of the college respected principal madam dr zareen bathena who is a very dedicated scholar who is a very enthusiastic uh, academician and who is very passionate about excellence in academics at the same time she also has a very pro student or uh, student friendly attitude so that she is very very approachable to you and i'm very sure during the coming 3 years at any point of time if you feel any problem or if you have any uh, any any difficulty in anything 
you could simply walk into her cabin and i'm sure that she'll be there to help you out so i request uh, respected principal madam to take over from me and guide the students about the entire uh, program or uh, the orientation to the students thank you so much over to principal ma'am good day and a very warm welcome to one and all who have logged in to today's program as the class of 2020 takes its first step in the undergraduate program of bhavans college i dr zareen batana along with my whole team of the office of the principal extend a very warm welcome to all of you all into the andheri campus which i'm sure will entice you every day with its luscious greenery cooling lake and its meditative temples but this will all have to wait till you are able to visit the campus personally and experience it but nevertheless from today you will always be identified as a bhavanite so what that we have not met and interacted with each other we will be connected virtually and today's program is a very small gesture to orient you to the life that you will have when you join the campus today's orientation program thus will help you acquaint yourselves to all the various opportunities and resources that will be available to you to get to know your library to identify the presence of the back end administrative team who will help you navigate through this campus smoothly bhavans college is a teaching and a learning institute and my students are its products thus you are and you will always be the custodian of our brand and i say wear it with pride as it guarantees certain values values of hard work frugal spending honesty and service to the society these core gandhian values underline our every endeavor and it will also form the stepping stones to your success the students prepare for tomorrow in a way that the morals and the values of bhavans remains with you throughout your life train your mind to think to analyze so that you stand one step above the crowd decide to dare and take a chance to tread the untrodden path as when we see that glint of success and achievement in your eyes it makes us so proud as it reaffirms our faith in what we do for the society to help you prepare for this tomorrow we need to establish a knowledge based economy rather than a low quality service provider that incentivizes memorizing rather than originality the first step in attaining such a vision has been attained students i'm proud to say that ugc has seen our merit and has granted us 10 years of autonomous status thus bhavans is now an autonomous institute what does this status entitle it provides you with the change that will help you create the blueprint of tomorrow it gives us the freedom to change our syllabus in keeping with the industry's needs so that we can make you all job ready it gives us the right to choose our methods of evaluation and assessment thereby making it student friendly it helps our teachers to go beyond the traditional chalk and talk method of teaching and provides improved ways of learning besides giving you all the niche short term courses that are necessary to make you industry ready thus to the special batch of autonomous bhavans college as we virtually take you around the campus i say welcome to bhavans college where for the next 3 years and more may you have good health to make work a pleasure wealth just enough to support your needs strength enough to overcome your difficulties patience enough to toil till the good is accomplished charity enough to be useful to others so till the time that we meet virtually through our online lectures which i say good luck and god bless to you all be safe i now pass on the baton to our vice principals who will take you around the different aspects of their faculty thank you and god bless 
This is Professor Patki, Vice Principal in Charge, Science Faculty, Bhavan's College, and Head Department of Statistics. I welcome you all to this green, lush Bhavan's campus. Let's hope that we meet each other soon on the campus. I shall be happy to help you in all academic and administrative related matter. So let's hope that we all meet each other soon. Uh, till such time, all the best and thank you. Hello everybody. I'm Dr. Geeta Shetty, Vice Principal and HOD Commerce. I have been associated with the Faculty of Commerce in Bhavan's College since last 32 years. The Faculty of Commerce is young compared to our college. Our college was established much before independence, but the Faculty of Commerce was started in 1981. Since then, the faculty has done very well for itself, not only in terms of number of students, but also in terms of number of courses offered. Today, we offer not only traditional BCom course, but also BMS and BAF. All three courses are very well demanded by students all over Mumbai. You have been fortunate to have got admission to this course. During the three years of training in our college, a student goes through rigorous training, coaching and mentoring. And what final product we have is a very polished and a marketable product. This brings to mind one of our alumnus, Sharuk Sheikh. He joined our college. As when he joined our college, he were, I found him very bright, very regular in his lectures, sat on the first bench. And most striking feature about Sharuk was that he always knew what was the last topic taught in his class. He did very well for himself during the three years in college. Then it was time for campus placement. He got picked up by J.P. Morgan as a financial analyst in the asset servicing department. Today, he is Director Morgan Stanley, Managing Commercial Business Asia. See the progress that a hardworking student can make. This should motivate you all to work hard and achieve whatever dreams you may aspire to achieve. Our faculty members are caring and like to share their knowledge and experience. The demographic profile of our faculty members is interesting. More than 50% of the faculty members are less than 45 years of age. They are young and they get along very well with the students. The senior faculty members are thorough in their subject and would like to share their knowledge with the young students. I hope you all take advantage of this vibrant and conducive learning environment. I wish you all all the best and welcome to our college. Uh, namaskar Bachu, Aap sabhi ka Bhavans Parivar aur Bhavans Mahavidyalaya mein swadat hai. सबसे पहले तो आपको बहुत-बहुत बधाई बहुत और शुभकामनाएं आने वाले भविष्य के लिए मैं डॉक्टर रेखा शर्मा भवंस कॉलेज की उपप्राचार्य कला संकाय के आर्ट फैकल्टी से जुड़ी हुई हूं और आपसे जुड़ी हुई समस्याओं का समाधान करने के लिए हमेशा प्रस्तुत रहूंगी ऐसी कामना करती हूं कि आप मुंशी जी के बताए हुए नियमों पर 
चलेंगे हमारे मूल्यों की रक्षा करेंगे और भविष्य में आने वाले समय में हमारा और हमारे महाविद्यालय का नाम रोशन करेंगे इन्हीं शुभकामनाओं के साथ धन्यवाद हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सिर्फ अशोक पवार वाइस प्रिंसिपल इन चार्ज ऑफ सेल्फ फाइनेंसिंग कोर्सेस वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस ग्रीन एंड ब्यूटिफुल भवन कॉलेज कैंपस दर इज टोटल सेवन सेल्फ फाइनेंसिंग कोर्सेस आर टॉट इन अवर कॉलेज अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ बेस्ट टीचर अवार्ड विनर प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर जरीन बतीना ऑल दिस सेवन सेल्फ फाइनेंसिंग कोर्सेस आर हेडेड बाय वेल एक्सपीरियंस टीचर बैफ इज हेडेड बाय रूबी पारे बायोटेक इज हेडेड बाय डॉक्टर वाघमारे बी एम एस इज हेडेड बाय डॉक्टर रसिका वैद्य बी एस सी आई टी इज हेडेड बाय हर्षला चौधरी बी एस सी कंप्यूटर साइंस इज हेडेड बाय कृपा कामबा एंड बी ए एम एम सी इज हेडेड बाय राजू शर्मा अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू विल गेट गुड सपोर्ट ऑफ अवर ऑफिस स्टाफ हेडेड बाय मिसेस संजीवनी एंड अवर अकाउंटेंट मिसेस बामने एंड मिसेस पुष्पा बने our clerk monish pawa and mr khan i hope we will make good use of this experience teachers and our well equipped lab and laboratory to brighten your future enjoy beautiful part of a college life once again with the best wishes i welcome you all to our college all the best Good day to you. A very happy and warm welcome to Bhavan's College, Andheri. My name is Mrs. Smita Reni, and I have been given charge of introducing you all to the various facets and facilities that are available at Bhavan's College for you. We at Bhavan's College eagerly await your arrival, and we are here to help you sail through these important years of your life. normally we would have an orientation where we meet you personally and get to know you better and you get to know your college better but under these special circumstances a virtual method seems to be the only way to get across to you so let's undertake this journey to get to know your college better every institute has its vision and mission statement through which it yearns to grow bhavan's college has a vision statement which strives to have holistic development of our students to empower them as citizens of contemporary india this is along the lines of the bharatiya vidya bhavan culture which was envisaged by our founder kulapati dr k m munshi ji besides that to enable our students to survive in this modern world we have the vision to develop professional competence ethical behavior and environment consciousness in a learner and this can be achieved through creative education thereby ensuring social equity with this vision in mind we have the objective to enable an overall student development encouraged through knowledge imagination and innovation thereby creating responsible global citizens that are endowed with moral and ethical values we try to link studies with contemporary industry developments and applications thereby encouraging a creative and collaborative engagement in curricular and co-curricular activities each and every one of us at bhavan's college believes in the core values of the institute and that is that all our students are capable of achieving success we believe that every student 
should have equitable access to high quality education. We expect excellence in our teachers who serve our students. We hold them accountable. And most importantly, we base every decision on what is best for our students. From being the second oldest college in Mumbai, Bhavan's College has grown leaps and bounds. This year, we received the autonomous status. We have got the grant under DST FIST scheme and also the grant by DST under the WTI scheme. Our teachers have received Mumbai University's Best Teacher Award. The strength of our college lies in its 45-acre green campus, which is located in the heart of the city and has easy access. It lies in our student crowd, which comes mainly from the middle-class background with deep value for education. We have multidisciplinary institutions in the campus like SPIT, SPCE, SPGIMR, where collaborative efforts are continuously on. We have ample campus security, ensuring the safety of our students, especially the female student. Bhavan's College was, has been identified as the lead college by the university. We have a strong research base in the college, which is integrated with teaching research policy. Computerized administrative and library functions, an active placement cell, health center, and an active counseling center are the strengths of our college. Our students have a rich heritage of being achievers. The students of TYBA have secured the second rank in Mumbai University, while the students of MSc and BSc have secured the first and second ranks in the microbiology department. Our students of accountancy have secured cent per cent, 100 out of 100 marks. Over the last five years, 19 of our students have obtained their PhD degrees. Our students have been recipients of Inspire GRF scholarship from DST and SFAM UK. MSc students from Biodiversity and Wildlife Conservation have received the prestigious Rutherford Scholarship. And our PhD students have received the bursary for Best Abstract from Developing Country to attend the IWA conference in Vienna, Austria. The students at Bhavan's College not only study but also do research. This slide here tells you of all the major activities and the achievements of our students, the projects that they have undertaken, the research publications that have been reviewed by our teachers, the number of books that our teachers have authored, the patents that have been registered in our names, the number of research guides that are there at Bhavan's, the number of the amount of grant that has been received at Bhavan's College. All this goes into explaining to you that at Bhavan's, we encourage a holistically research-oriented study and we hope that all of you will be able to inculcate that. With this brief introduction to the various facets of Bhavan's College, let me take you through the various domains of the college to help you navigate once you enter into its gates. We have here the office of the principal, the principal, principal Professor Dr. Zareen Bhatina, heads the institute. She is supported by Sri Prasad Patki, who is in charge of the science faculty. Professor Dr. Geeta Shetty, 
who is in charge of the Commerce Faculty, Dr. Rekha Sharma, in charge of the Arts Faculty, and Sri Ashok Pawar, who is in charge of the Self-Financing Courses Faculty. The Office of the Principal is ably supported by the Office of the Degree College. From this office, you can get your help for the various activities that you would require. For this, we have various counters. Counter number one will help you in stamping your ID, ID card, in collecting and checking your admission forms, for your exam form and re-evaluation form for checking, for your transfer certificate and for your migration certificate. Counter number two assists you with the railway concession forms, with attestations, with bona fide certificates, exam form, hall ticket and mark sheet distribution. Counter number three helps you with free ship and scholarship related activities and with caste verification. Similarly, for the self-financing courses students, we have our office staff which help you with scholarship, caste validity, free ships, examination forms and results, with railway and bus concession forms, bona fide certificates, mark sheets, transfer certificates, leaving certificates, ID cards, fees and other accounts. We have Mrs. Anita Bamne, Mr. Manoj Pawar, Mr. Nafis Khan, Mrs. Sanjeevni Rokde, and Mrs. Pushpa Bane in the SFC office staff to assist you. Academics at Bhavans College starts with the degree courses from undergraduate courses of BA, BCom, BSc right up to MSc and PhD. In PhD, we take microbiology, chemistry, botany and zoology departments. Under the self-financing courses, in the undergraduate courses, we have BMS, BMM, BSc Information Technology, BSc Computer Science, BSc Biotechnology, and BCom in Accounting and Finance. Our postgraduate course at SFC is the MSc in Biodiversity and Wildlife Conservation. You are here for the undergraduate course and for that, your span at Pavans College would be of three years. These three years are divided into semesters. The first year having semesters one and two, the second year having semesters three and four, and the third year having semesters five and six. In your duration of stay at Bhavans College, you will realize that there are various student-centric activities that are taken up by our teachers to implement the curriculum as you move from your first year right up to your third year. These activities include audiovisual aided lectures, bridge and remedial courses, major or minor or even live projects, presentations and group discussions, industrial visits, field trips, revision sessions and practicals and also surprise tests. In order for you to take up all these studies, you will require books and you will find these books in the Bhavans College Library. The library which is the envy of all. Bhavans College boasts of this library the committee of which is headed by Dr. Rekha Sharma, who is the vice principal. The convener of this committee is our chief librarian, Mr. Ramesh Paloti. And along with them in the team is Mr. Prakash Degarwala, Mr. Ashok Kohli, and Ms. Rana Abdul Rahman. The library has a vast collection of 63,000 books, several periodicals, newspapers, audiovisual material, ebooks and journals are available. Till the time the college is not opened, the library works from 10 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. And once college resumes its normal working hours, 
it will be open from 7 in the morning to 5 in the evening. You will be able to avail of various services and facilities at the library like taking the books for reading, for having reference service, you will have access to copies of your syllabus, you will have access to old question papers of the university, there is a special and separate reading room which has internet facility, OPAC, you will be able to access the various ebooks and e-journals, there is a language lab and there is the JAWS application for the visually impaired. You can access the library also from the library website www.bhavanslibraryamdheri.weebly.com Bhavans College is very strict in attendance. We implement the ordinance of the Mumbai University 6086 in total. It says 75% attendance compulsory for all academic sessions like practicals, lectures, tutorials, whether live or virtual as it is happening now and 50% attendance for each course. Strict disciplinary action is taken if your attendance is not according to the ordinance. Students, if due to any unforeseen circumstance like medical reasons, you are not able to attend the lectures, do present and submit a medical certificate and a leave application to the vice principal. In case you are representing the college in various events, we would request you to submit an application along with the proof of participation with the signature of the staff who was in charge. Examination is a part and parcel of any learning. The following slides will explain to you how this will be conducted at Bhavans College. Your examination will be conducted under the autonomous scheme. In this case, the exam will totally be divided into two parts. First part is internal continuous assessments, which is for 40% of your total marks. And the second part is the end semester examination, which will be for 60% of your total marks. In the internal continuous assessment, it will be held for each semester for each theory course and it may include any of these short term projects, quizzes, open book tests, written assignments, viva activities, group activities, surveys, poster presentations, etc., internships, etc. At the end of the semester, there will be a theory exam for 60 marks and two hours duration. There will be single evaluation with moderation for all courses. Grace marks is up to 1% of the grand total per semester. A student can also earn credits in the non-academic manner. There are extracurricular credits that can be awarded from the university, which can be earned by a student with a logging time of a minimum of 30 hours with activities like NCC, NSS, cultural, sports, research projects, etc. Another manner in which credits can be earned is through the skill development program. Skill development program which includes life skills for FY students like life saving skills like CPR, self-defense, yoga, traditional medicine, intercommunication skills, nursing, child psychology, etc. Skill development program also includes digital literacy for second year students and can include in-depth study of any one electronic gadget. It can also include future pro job prospects for TY students. It includes personality development, placement skills, entrepreneur skills, internships, in-house training may also include the study of one foreign or Indian language like German, Mandarin, Japanese or Kannada, Tamil or Sanskrit. 
the standard of passing at this examination is 40%. Please bear that in mind. It is not 35%, but at degree college, it is 40%. So for your internal assessment of 40 marks, you need to score a minimum of 16 marks to pass. And for a theory paper of 60 marks, you require a minimum of 24 marks to pass. The university ordinance of 5050 is something that each student should be aware of. It deals with unfair means and says that possession also of copying material like chits, electronic gadgets like mobiles, pen drives, copying material like something written on the desks or on the wall or nearby area or even written material on clothes or on yourself or on your compass or writing pads is strictly forbidden and it is a punish punishable offence. What is also punishable is if you are actually caught copying from the copy material for mass copying or mutual copying for impersonation, for leaving the examination hall without submitting the answer book, for forging the signatures, or for even obscene language and any other malpractices during the examination. Bhavan's College is known for its Kala Mahotsav, which is a theme-based intra-collegiate festival of one week. This festival provides a platform to the students who have various creative activities like dramatics, music, rangoli, painting, handicraft, best out of waste models, etc. It celebrates the diversity and richness of our Indian culture all under one roof. In addition to Kala Mahotsav, our SFC students take great pride in putting up amalgam a co-curricular activity. It showcases photography and marketing skills and also the technical know-how of the science streams. Bhavan's College is proud to have various committees that are there for students to help them cope with various problems and grievances they may encounter. We have the Women's Development Cell, which is there to hear the grievances regarding matters of physical and mental safety and well-being of women and works for their betterment for women empowerment. The WDC arranges workshops and seminars for the social and mental development of the women. Life is not a bed of roses. Grievances may occur and for its redressal, we have the Grievance Redressal Committee, which is headed by Dr. Medini Anjanikar. We hear and take necessary actions on your grievances. Besides that, we have the Internal Complaints Committee that is headed by Dr. S. L. Samant. This committee hears and takes necessary action on grievances that are related with any sexual harassment. Bhavan's College is very strict about ragging and therefore we have the Anti-Ragging Committee which is headed by Dr. Nirmala Pawar. It prevents direct or indirect ragging within or outside the institution. The committee takes necessary actions for acts of ragging which can include imprisonment for up to two years or a penalty of up to 10,000 rupees. The student may also be suspended from the institute if he or she is found in an act of ragging. Awards and accolades are also a part of Bhavan's college life. For this, we have the Kulapati Awards which is conferred to our best student in the third year of graduation. This award 
is given on overall performance in academic and extracurricular activities. Bhavan's College also has a placement cell. The placement cell is headed by Professor Dr. Geeta Shetty, who is the Vice Principal for Commerce. And the convener for the placement cell is C.A. Ruby Parikh. There are various committee members who dedicatedly work for the placement cell. The placement cell has various objectives, career guidance, imparting skills and knowledge and training, increasing competitiveness, encouraging entrepreneurship, making students placeable being some of them. The placement cell organizes seminars and various other activities that enhance technical and presentation skills of the students. It also invites companies for campus placements and in the present scenario is also looking at online internships. Who wouldn't want to be placed into a company and get a job soon after graduation. Various companies visit our campus for placement and our students get placed in many companies. Some of the companies where our students have got placed are Capgemini, Nokia, Wipro, Morgan & Stanley, Tech Mahindra, Infosys and so on. Bhavan's College is proud to have its very own counselling centre headed by Dr. Kranti Gauli. The counselling centre helps with personal issues and career guidance. It also provides expert guidance for anxiety through our alumni and, trusted in, and it is provided in a trusted environment. It provides an opportunity for training and experience as mental health ambassadors. Not me, but you. What a noble thought. That is the motto of the National Service Scheme. The volunteers of the National Service Scheme participate in socially relevant programs. They attend camps and even earn credits awarded to them according to the university ordinance. The program officer is Mr. Akshay Rani. I request all of you to join the NSS for a well-rounded personality that is socially relevant. The National Cadet Corps or NCC of Bhavans College. It is indeed a proud moment when we watch our students of the NCC march down during the Republic Day Parade in Delhi. Our cadets develop independent disciplined personalities. They have a reservation in the armed forces once they finish their C certificate. They also earn credits in the university examination according to the ordinance. If you do want to be a part of this, contact Captain Malini Sharma or Captain V.S. Kota. A healthy mind resides in a healthy body. Sports, therefore, is an important aspect of our learning and growing. The sports department at Bhavans College trains you in physical education, in sportsman spirit and also personality development. It helps you gain a healthy physique and psyche. Additional marks are also allotted as per Mumbai University Ordinance. Our students have made us proud by winning many prizes at the from the lowest to the highest level to the national level so finally we come to a broad winding up of the steps that we have gone through already the code of conduct at bhavan's college students please remember to attend your academic sessions regularly to always wear your ID cards in the campus, to observe proper dress code, to protect the college property as your own, 
to use the library facility carefully. If for any reason you have missed a submission or an academic session, do immediately contact the concerned teacher. Do maintain discipline and the decorum of the college. And most importantly, read the not notices regularly and carefully. This also means that you should not be a defaulter in attendance, should not lose or forget your ID card. In case you do forget your or lose your ID card, inform the authorities. Please do not wear indecent clothes. Do not misuse your college property or your library books or keep them beyond the time that they have been issued for. Try not to forget deadlines for submission of examination forms, projects, tutorials and other things. Do not be rude or abusive in language with other students and staff. Do not use mobiles, iPods, music systems, etc. within the college premises. Follow the code of conduct. We at Bhavans College welcome you wholeheartedly into its campus. With this, I, Mrs. Smitha Reni, take your leave from introducing you to the great institute that is Bhavans College.